Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to fill text or any shape with a photograph. Let's make a new document. Go to File, New and set the profile to Web. Click OK. For this project you can use any shape. Today I will be working with text. Select the Type tool. Click on the artboard. Type your text and highlight it. Now go to the character window and choose one of the bold fonts. Click on the bottom right corner and holding the Ctrl and Shift keys on your keyboard, drag it to make it bigger. Next we will import our photograph and place it inside the text. To do that, select the Draw Inside icon, click on it and Illustrator will mark the area with the dashed line corners. And now you are ready to import your photograph. Go to File and select Place. Now find a photograph you like and click Place. Move your mouse to the top left corner, click, hold and drag it down to cover the entire text. Now go to Layers panel, click on this arrow and click on the other arrow to open all the sub-layers. Let's lock the text layer. The double circle and the big blue square indicates which layer is presently selected. Now with the photo layer selected, you can go to the selection tool and move the photo within the text. Let's say we want to change the photo to a different one. Select the photo layer again. Click on your photo file name from the top and select Relink. Choose a different photo and click Place. Now you can reposition it the way you want it. You can also change the entire word to something different. Go to the Layers panel and unlock the text layer. Now click on it to select it. Go to the Type tool, highlight the text and type a different word. Now lock the text layer, select the photo layer and adjust the size and the position. And finally we will add a few more effects. Unlock the text layer, select the Clip Group layer, go to Effect, Select Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. Check the preview box, change the mode to Normal and click OK. Now let's change the background color to black. Select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from one corner to the other. Right click with your mouse, select Arrange and Send to Back. Next, let's change the drop shadow color to white and add a stroke to our text. Go to the Layers panel and select the Clip Group. Now open the Appearance panel. If you don't have it, go to Window and select Appearance. Select the drop shadow. Click on the color box and choose White. And let's make a few more adjustments. Finally, let's add a stroke. Click on the stroke box and change the color to white. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.